All right, guys, we're gonna attempt to tame this beast today. I'm gonna try to tune this car. This is my neighbor's car, Caesar. Finished quality customs. It's got a six liter in it, 4L80E transmission, and it's running LSX Gold Box by EFI Source. So I'm gonna hook up my laptop to it, and um, I don't know if you can hear that idle. It's kind of surging around, so we'll try to fix that as long as, as well as um, some throttle response issues. It's actually never even been on the road. He's had this car. He's been building it for like 10 years. So let's go see what we can do. How long has it been running? Not too long. Huh? Okay, is the radiator hot? Yeah. How hot? Pretty hot. Okay, let's just check. I want to make sure our fans are set correctly. So... Looks like he doesn't have a passenger seat for me, so I'll probably have to sit and tune from back there. Can you feel the, the fans pulling heat? All right, good. Okay, as you can see, we're running about 17, 16 to one air fuel ratio. That's pretty darn lean, so we're gonna try to add some fuel. Okay, so I just added some fuel to those cells right there. They're around 28, I bumped them up to 35 and 34. And as you can see already, the air fuel ratio is at 14.3. The idle smoothed out pretty good. Is he gone? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take it for a spin, man. Sure, let that one down. <laughs> huh? Back. What, with no front? Oh, no front windshield? No, we don't need a windshield. <laughs> you gonna drive from back here? What are you gonna do? So it just went lean and it turned off on its own, right? So right where that's at, I need to add some fuel. So we're able to smooth the idle out a little bit, but once we go to put in gear, the transmission kind of just drags the motor down like, and pretty much stalls it out sometimes. So I'm in the transmission settings, but right here, first thing I notice is if you look at that transmission temperature, see how it's fluctuating like that? And uh, I think there might be a loose connection because each time we rock the car, it kind of moves around on us so we'll have to figure that out first all right one more thing that we noticed is that this selector here is supposed to be showing what gear he's in over there go ahead the ignition's on so it's not picking up which gear we're in at all so it's not communicating somehow so we got to look into our harness and figure out what's going on there before we continue with the tuning stay tuned stay tuned guys <laughs> Okay, unfortunately, the manifold pressure sensor seems to be bad, so he's gonna replace that. Also, the connector on the side of the transmission for the main harness is leaking, which happened in the last 4L80E I was working on. So basically, the problems that I had with the last 4L80E is the same things that, that's happened to this one. These are used transmissions that we got from the junkyard, so you kinda of just take your take a gamble. And um, this is kind of something that could happen. So just something to keep in mind. But he's going to have to pull the pan, change the manifold pressure sensor, change the wiring harness to stop that leak also. Then we'll get back to you. Um, I mean, the car is not complete, but he's just trying to move it in and out of his shop for right now. So he's just trying to get it tuned to where it won't shut off on him so much. Um, we were going to take the car down the road, but we don't even have a front windshield for now. So probably a good thing that this happened. Uh, we'll get back to you guys though. And... Let you know how this thing turns out. Should should ride pretty good. So, see you guys later. <laughs> 